All right, man. So, first vlog. What's good, bro? How y'all doing? Um, I'm actually on the way to go to the bank. You know, nigga, time to get the touch up. You cleaned up. Y'all can tell. You feel me? Gotta go. Gotta go get cleaned up. Gotta pick up my girl. I gotta. I gotta take my girl to her appointment. Well, not really appointment. She gets a shot like every with her like um what do you call it? Her allergies shot. You feel me? But um yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna head to the bank, take some money out. Pick up my girl, you know, and we finna fly to Naples. Um, I'm gonna take her to get her shot first, and after that, come back, get a haircut, and then I'm gonna stop by the homie with you. You feel me? I gotta stop and see my homeboy. That's like my left nut. You feel me? Um, my boy getting married, so you know, I gotta, I gotta holla at him. I gotta go out there and holla at him and whatnot. And um. Funny shit, this is the funny shit. This nigga is getting wet, is, uh, this nigga is getting married the day after my birthday. You feel me? So like, hit me up, talk about, hey, bro, you know, I'm gonna need you to be the best man. This and the third, huh? all right, bet. What's the date? And uh, as soon as they found the date, as soon as he gave me the date, May 22nd, I was like, damn, nigga. He's like, what? Like, you know my birthday? I'm like, nigga, you know my birthday? Your wedding after the day after my birthday. So he's like, oh. Well, well I ain't even talked to him fully yet, but the fact that, um, you know, like I told you, like, he gave me the date, and I was like, damn, bro, day after my birthday. So, you know, I've been, I've been busy. I've been back to work. I've been... Loki kind of like Loki kind of missed the pandemic. I don't miss the pandemic. I just miss all the free time that I freaking damn shoot. Whoa, that that was the shoot white as hell, boy. Hey, look, where I'm from, but you can tell where certain people are not from this area. Like, I'm from like a little a town where all the Hispanic and like it's like a lot of Hispanic and, and you know minority and shit. So when you feel like a different person out here that stands out, you be like, oh yeah, bro, I know you ain't from Loki. But, um, nah, man, I wanted to actually start this, give it a shot, you know? I'm, I'm not even sure what I'm going to name this, I'm shit. A day, with, a day with Young Chef. Young Chef first vlog. I don't know. But, hey, man, thank you to all my supporters that on the channel, you know, that's rocking, that, that, that's on there rocking, whatever, right? you feel me? I'm trying to get it up, though. I got more place to come. This church, you got, you got to, bro. You, well, like, uh, you know, it's, just, it's just a thing out here, bro. When you pass by that Christian church, bro, you ain't even gotta be Christian, bro. It's just Christian, Alan, Christian, really. You ain't even gotta be religion and all that, bro. You just, you just, you just got to do it, bro. It's just, I don't know. It's just been doing that since the kids thing. You feel? But um. I'm in, I'm trying to 
put them up. So I'm gonna add a little new, I'm gonna add a little hook, I'm gonna add a little, little, little color to the, to the channel, you feel me? heard my AC more than y'all heard me, but my bad. Um, like I'm saying though, yeah, I'm just, you know, trying to go ahead and give it a, give it a, give it a little, a little feel for it, like, you know, dipping your toes in the water, see if it's warm or if it's too cold, you feel me, like, So this is my, uh, oh my beautiful girlfriend over here, bro. Like, bro, you know how long it actually took to leave the crib, bro? Like, look, I guess you gotta make sure the makeup is on fleek, the wings is on fleek, you feel me, bro? Like, bro, I think I started this vlog like around two something, bro. It's already like three, 337. Just chilling at the crib while she just doing her makeup, bro. Somebody should've gave me a guideline for the girl code, bro, like. So. Now we in Naples. We're finna go get her uh, allergy shot, like I told y'all. And then, um, still gotta get my hair cut. Then still pull up on the homie. You feel me? Um, this is actually one of the. Naples is one of the city like, I don't really fuck with because crack is be out here heavy than a motherfucker. You feel me? Like, you got the boys. Like, as y'all can tell, I'm not even in my own car. This is my girl's car, but like, the other ones. Mm mm. We ain't, nah, one time, nah, we ain't doing that, you feel me? Got the detail on the cover and all that, we good. But, um, yeah, so, so what's up, babe? Hi. Yeah, we were doing this today, but, um. Like, I already started the first one, so. Honestly, I had no idea this was the plan was. I was wondering what the camera was about. Right. Had a oh. guess, but. <laughs> That's fine. But, uh, yeah, man, so, I'm gonna get at y'all on the other one when I, with the haircut after the haircut we're gonna get something to eat i ain't gonna lie to y'all because that shit is the routine for like might get some haitian food or whatever she's feeling um then pull up on the homie so i'll catch y'all all right so this is where we play the waiting game like y'all already know due to the fact of covid due to the fact of covid um you know a lot of a lot of things change you can't really sit in a waiting room if you're not there for like if if you're not there to be seen, you know, you really can't be seen. You can't really be sitting in the waiting room. So, this is the part where I play the waiting game. Because after we done playing the waiting game, she gonna have to play the waiting game. And I'm getting my hair cut. And today is Tuesday. I don't usually get a haircut on a Tuesday. So, I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's slow. I'm hoping there ain't a lot of people there, you feel me? But, um, yeah. So, while... I'm waiting for my girl. I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all a quick backstory on the homie that I'm finna meet. Um, the homie Wenzel, man. Uh, we been we been rocking with each other. Like we been, uh, like nigga, two peas in a pod type shit. You feel me? Like, shit, you might just anyway. But nah, bro. Me and this nigga been friends, or like I like to say, like I I, I treat this nigga like we came out the same. Ugh, yeah, yeah. 
Like we like we came out eating off the same plate. Um, we been rocking with each other like thin jit, bro. With that being said, funny thing how I actually met this nigga was how I fifth grade, no fifth or sixth grade. Um, fifth or sixth grade. Hmm. I don't really know. Alright. So. Nah, it was middle school. Alright. So, alright. It was middle school, right? Check. P. So, it was middle school. Um. It's middle school. Sixth grade. Yeah. You know, you, you getting. You still trying to figure out who you are. Still trying to, you know, like. Like, figure out what crew you fit in. Like, I probably don't see me, but you still trying to figure out what crew you fit in and whatnot. So. With that being said, you're still trying to figure out what crew you fit in. You just rocking solo. You at the time, let me just at the time I was rocking solo. I got to middle school. I didn't have a whole crew yet. Like the niggas from the block that we grew up with, like we had a whole like we had a nigga, we, we 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 had a whole little thing out there called the whole Wood Boys. Um from that a lot of niggas were just in and out the program, so that didn't stay together too long. Um but when I got to middle school, I was still trying to figure out, like, you know, I was still trying to figure out what clique I was going to be with, like, what niggas I was going to, like, you feel me? I was still, I was still trying to, like, elementary was, I was back and forth in elementary, like, because I went from, from where I live at, I went elementary out there from Fort Myers, from Naples, so I kind of jumped elementary a lot. But when it came to sixth grade, that's why I was still trying to figure out, like, you know, who I'm going to be cool with. So with that being said... Um, you know, I'm already cool with a couple of people from, from, you know, from my class, from my class or whatnot. And they started saying like, hey, bro, you look like this nigga, bro. Like, you look like somebody. I'm like, like who? They're talking about like, you know, you look like, um, like everybody trying to put their, they 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 finger on there. They're trying to like put they, put their hand on like, bro, you look like this one person. We don't know his name, but we're like, you look like this one person. So I'm still trying like, I'm like, bro, who the hell do I look like, right? Or, so, I guess two or three days go by. Two or three days go by, right? And they find like, yo, you look like this one cat. Boom, boom, boom. I'm like, this one cat. Now, nah, I got to see him. Y'all can't just be saying, you know, niggas look like, you know. Like, uh, people already like to say black people. Every, uh, every, every Haitian got the same last name. So, I ain't trying to, nah, bro. I got to see what y'all talking about. So... Well, they said every Haitian got either the same last name or either the same first middle name. <laughs> but. When I end up meeting this nigga, right? When I actually, my first time seeing this nigga. They put him in my class. They put him in my class. So, with that being said, with him in my class, right? And I'm like. And I'm looking at this nigga, bro. I'm like, I'm... Like, I'm just... Hey. Five them, bro. Like, who are... Like, bro, just looking at him like... Nah, nigga. <coughs> you don't look like me. You feel me? Like, I'm like, nah, I don't care what nobody say. This cat do not look like me. So everybody trying to say, yeah, he look like you, this and the third. I'm like, bro, nah, bro. So he already had a little he he already had a little partner, bro. He had a little buddy. He 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 was cool with a little Hispanic kid, you feel me? I ain't really I ain't really rock with him at the time, but when I see him, I'm like, man, this nigga he whatever. So time goes by, he's in my class, right? So now I'm like, I'm like, bro, you know what? Let me see this guy. Let me let me see if we have anything in common and see if, like, you know, if we, like, since everybody already say we look alike, you know, like, if the two W's already, like, you know, you feel me, bro? Let me see what's up with it. So, I started chilling with this nigga whatnot. He don't live too far from me, you feel me? He walk, he used to walk home. I took the bus home. But, um, he was a solid kid. Like, he was, he was, he was cool. So, I'm like, all right, you know, whatever, peep. And you always gonna have that one, that one hype ass friend that just wants to, that just gonna instigate shit. So, at the time, we're we're starting to get cool. You know, we're starting to we're starting to vibe now, whatnot. I'm still like, you know, I'm I'm like we're starting to learn each other a little bit more. 
But I'm like, fuck it, nigga. It was this eighth grade, right? No, the the this eighth grader. This eighth grader was the eighth grader. Tall white boy, whatnot, bro. Now he wasn't really tall, but just like he he had a little height on him because at the time I ain't gonna lie. Me and my boy, we was fat back in middle school, boy. Nigga, we was on that. We just, nigga, we were eating good, not missing a meal. You feel me? Now, nigga, just like, bro, nigga, be stressed. They didn't tell me life was gonna be like this. But, um, so, I had to, I had to decide, I had to decide I wanted to start instigating shit. So, with that being said, with me decided I wanted to start instigating shit, this white boy, I don't know what the hell was his problem, but I guess he wasn't rocking with us, or he wasn't, I don't know what it was, but he wasn't feeling us. So, with that being said, um, we in lunch. At the time, they had A, A lunch, B lunch, and C lunch, and um, so we had B lunch. So, when we had B lunch, right, we were at the table, he's across the table, so I'm just sitting there, I'm just like, I was like, whatever his name was, I was like, A, so-and-so said, I'm like, so-and-so, one of said, your mama fat, or like, bro, I'm just like, you know how it goes, like, you know, you had that one friend that just be saying, hey, man, my dog say, hey, my dog's a hey. like, bro, I'm going in on this kid, I'm like, yo, bro, my boy said, like, yo, TV yellow, then some, 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 some crayon, some Yoli crayon, bro, played, nigga, my, bro, I was just, just saying everything I could, and the funny thing about this kid, bro, like, instead of, you know, some people are like, hey, bro, chill out. Like, nah, bro, I ain't say none of that. I ain't say none of that. Bro, this nigga just laughed. Like, the whole time, he didn't say nothing to this kid back. Like, he didn't say, like, nah, bro, he just chill. Like, he just playing. He didn't even try to, like, defend himself or nothing, bro. I'm just going, he just, it's just like he's laughing, bro. The whole time, this nigga is just laughing. White boy getting mad. But ain't nothing happened. So, I'm thinking, okay, fuck it. Ain't nothing gonna happen or whatnot, right? So... We throw our uh, our tray away, whatnot. Now it's time to go back to class. So now we're walking back to class. I got Winslow on this side. I got whatever his name is, the kid that I was just uh, just talking mad shit to, um, in the lunchroom, right behind us. Like he was like he was walking towards us or whatnot. And I seen him too. Now y'all already know that whole thing, you know. Like look, it, it, look me. I always believe in one on one unless somebody gonna jump. If you jump, then okay, we gonna jump. But it was a one on one. I, it was no point of jumping in. And I'm sorry if I keep moving the camera because I'm, you know, like. But um. So. Winslow's on this side, and from the angle that I'm standing from, I can see the kid coming like he's walking up. So I'm not thinking nothing of it because you know he ain't really say nothing. He ain't like so I'm just you know. But like they say, never leave your guard down. Never, never you know like. Take your eye off your enemy. Like you can't just sit here and keep running your mouth in and not expect something to come with the consequences. Like you can't just like yeah, you were just in the lunchroom talking about the man's teeth, his mama. Like you can't like you just did all that. Yeah, he was quiet. Now you know they always said the quiet one you need to watch for. So with that being said, hold on, let me okay, I gotta make sure like I you know like So with that being said, um So he's walking up and I ain't really thinking nothing of it, nothing really clicked yet, right? And I kid you not, bro. I kid you not. As soon as he's walking up, he gets close to Winslow and he just jumps. Like, you know when somebody, like, you know when somebody come behind you and just jump and try to choke you like that? So that's basically what he does to Winslow. He, they fall back together. So I just move out the way. I ain't finna jump in yet. Cause like, look, it's, it's already a one-on-one. -on -one. Like, unless he had a, like, cause he ain't really have no homeboys like that. Like. He, yeah, he ain't really have no homeboys like that, so there was no point of trying to be a, trying to have a whole tag team on this nigga. So I was like, fuck it, I want to see what this kid is, you know, see what he got. So he he jumps on with a lot. They fall down to the ground. Winslow gets out of that bitch, turns around, just, just, just start wailing on that kid. Like, the kid tried to get some late back, bro, but I'm telling you, dog. Bro, this, like, he was out of school for, like, what, three days, four days, out of school suspension. I was like, damn. I said, all right. Bro, I feel like anybody else, they probably would have fought me. Like, you probably would have fought your friend just for getting you in that type of bullshit. But this nigga came back. I just told him, bro, my bad. And, like, he just brushed it off. And we were just like, all right. From there, bro, we were like, that didn't really make us cool yet. Like, we had this story that nobody won't leave us let us, that won't let us live down. In high school, you feel me? Like freshman year, like. The shit that we did freshman year, bro. 
I can't even like I'm. <sighs> it's, it's just it's funny, honestly, man. Like I don't even want to put it out yet. I don't even want to say it yet. That's how stupid and just dumb I was. Like I know a lot of people did dumb shit, but just to let y'all guys know what the hell I did be, I just did as a freshman to be like, bro. What the thing like, the one thing that we did from that point as a freshman that blew us up, bro. It was just like, all right. So bad news that y'all can see. I don't have the hair done. Took too long. Barber slid on a nigga. You feel me? God damn, I gotta get my fat ass up. Barber slid on a nigga. So, the fuck it. Ain't even sweating that. Decide, uh, wanna go get something to eat. After that, like I told y'all. Fuck, pull up on this fat motherfucker. I know what this shit be like. Fat boy! God damn, boy! Oh, y'all just big chilling, huh? They big chilling. The ugly ass nigga right here, bro. <laughs> hey, what's up? God damn, y'all. How y'all doing? I like y'all playhouse. I told you, Rich. I told you I was pulling up. <laughs> but anyway, bro. I was about to go get a haircut, this and a third, but that shit ain't happen, bro. That nigga slid. You slid? And, uh. Hey, wifey. It look like you got an attitude already. <laughs> Shit. I'm trying to find you. Hand in this. Sound in hand. Dark ass nigga. Simple that. Yeah. But yeah, no. Um, I've been trying to find time to come out here though, bro. Like. Find time. I only got two days off and nigga, I'm still trying to fucking, what you call it, bring my mom's truck to fucking Miami and shit, that shit ain't happening, we still can't, I don't know, dude be on some bullshit. Um, the, because the dude that, oh, she wants to use your bathroom. Oh, God. Oh. Nah. You about to go to work? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you do say you late night to work? Yeah, hey, it be late that, bye-bye. Give me a little bit of two or three puffs. But, um. Nah. So. You just, 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 just roll on.